Foreman, North Dakota, population 504. Beach, North Dakota, population 1,019. Fargo, North Dakota, population 105,549. The numbers do speak for themselves, that's for sure. It's kind of crazy numbers. This fall marks a new chapter in the lives of two small town football standouts. A chapter that begins by moving to the biggest city in the state to play for the national champion North Dakota State University Bison. For Landon Leckler of Beach and Justin Arp of Foreman, the term change only begins to define the next four plus years of their lives. I won't be getting up feeding cows and feeding sheep and farming every day. I mean just going to class and football and lifting and eating and that I think that'll be a little different. It's going to be a fun change. It's going to be difficult at first but I think I'll understand what's going on pretty fast. While the change from the small rural setting will be drastic, both their former coaches and future head coach believe the move to Fargo is a valuable step for the young men. That first couple of years of college, it's always a tough transition for, uh, for everybody, you know, some uh, more than others. Um, I think he'll be fine, but uh, you never really know until you get there. I think Fargo's great for him. It's, it's far enough away that um, he'll be on his own a little bit, but it's still close enough. It's only an hour and a half or so that um, that he'll have a lot of support. The perceived obstacles of going from you know a small community into a fairly large school, I, I think we've got a warm, inviting place both academically and athletically, and, and that and that environment allows him to to grow. Along with the physical displacement in a big city, both players will also have to battle the transition from the nine-man football they played in high school to eleven-man FCS football. They're the only two players in the NDSU class to come from nine-man football, but the man that recruited them sees that as being a small bump in the long road for the incoming freshman. We really don't put a lot in a stock on, okay, did the guy play 11-man or nine-man? If they've got the physical attributes and we feel like they, they've got the character traits to allow them to be successful, we throw that measure out. Doesn't matter whether they play nine or 11. They're a good football player, they're a good football player. The journey begins August 1st, when Landon and Justin will report to camp with the rest of their Bison teammates. It is there that they will look to make a name for themselves while carrying the pride of their towns on their shoulders. A hometown kid, you know, just wants to make their little town proud. And I know they, they support me in what I do, and they'll be down for some games, I hope, and cheering loud, wearing some blue. Mix that in with the green a little bit. Watch out, Fargo. The Beach and Foreman Faithful are coming in full force. With the Beck Sports Network, I'm Stephen Watson.